Hello everyone, Shamanzin here, and today I'm showing you the SolarWinds Network Topology Mapper. Now, um, as some of you may know, I am a fan of uh, SolarWinds. I believe that they have some pretty cool tools, and uh, some of them are pretty inexpensive and very useful. Uh, I'm showing you today the uh, trial edition that's available uh, as a free download. I believe it's a 14-day download off of the SolarWinds website. I've installed it already, which is a um, simple install. I have this installed on server 2012, but it also runs on client machines as well. And um, uh, pretty much what this application does is, uh, as it says, it'll map out your, to uh, your network's topology. Now, um, I have a lab set up, and uh, this is its uh, the physical topology um, so pretty much there's an 1841 uh, 3500 switch a 2600 series switch and then another 3500 switch connected to this which you don't see in the picture is another 2950 switch um, and then goes to my home network so this is just a lab I set up on my desk uh, for this demo so um, what we're going to do is uh, import this into the network mapper and uh, see how accurate it is at um, mapping out my actual topology uh, what the software sh shows I have and what I have in reality okay so um, this is the like I said this is the hardware um, setup software setup um, Software setup is pretty simple. Okay, I just have a bunch of sub interfaces with some networks. Um, so these these networks have really no clients. They just have uh, um, except the slash the the point to point address, which is a one nine two one six eight one six eight network. Um, the rest of these. I haven't really been used there's no real clients on them um, and then from there so from my WAN or the 1841 uh, the 1841 is connected on F01 to the 3548 switch okay And then from the 3548 switch, the 3548 switch is then connected to the 2611 off of fast ethernet 048. And then if I were to log into that, you'll see that that's also connected to the other 3500 switch. So you get the idea. Okay, so. Um, what we're going to do is uh, run the tool so I've already done a scan before and this tool is pretty simple to use and uh, I'll show you uh, briefly here so all these devices are running SNMP and so that's how this device uh, sorry that's how this software works uh, via SNMP so you have to make sure that SNMP is enabled on all the devices okay so um, what you can do is uh, you click new scan on the top and because this is a lab environment I just have public on my SNMP but um, for instance if you have uh, a, an, another SNMP uh, community which you should um, then you'll just name it here if it's SNMP 1 or 2 or SNMP 3 so let's say I had a SN SNMP community of Bob Okay, um, you can just label it Bob here and then put Bob as a community string. This is the most important part. This is more of a label and this is the actual community. And if it's SNMP3, you'll put in your um, credential information down here. All right, so I'll just hit public here, click next. And um, if you're wanting to discover, you know, like Windows machines and stuff, you can put 
your WMI credentials but this is as you see there was no servers to to figure out there's no VMware now network selection this part's cool so now you you can do either an IP range okay free form IP so you can just type in the IPs here okay like the range so let's say 10 10 10 10 to 20 20 20 20 you can just do that range if you want okay there is like a blacklist or do not scan list you put here but they have this one feature that's kind of cool and it's called add a seed device okay so for instance the best candidate in this router uh, sorry in this setup would be the Sean dot dash lab when reason being is that it knows about all of the networks okay or any router for instance would know about all the networks or or if you if you want to scan the entire network you want to have let's say a core router that will exact know about all the networks not something that may only know about part of the network okay so what I can do is actually add this device so I click add a seed device and I'll type in the routers IP and then click add okay and what that does is that, um, it's an SNMP poll to find out what networks this device knows about and automatically populate them it's really cool um, it makes it very simple okay so in real time here we're just waiting for um, the networks to populate Okay, and that's exactly what it did. It populated all the networks. So if I want to compare what this is uh, showing versus what's real, okay, so I have the 10 network, and then 192.168.28, 27, 26, 25, 168.1, and um, the DHCP IP, which won't be shown. So we'll see 10, the one network, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 192.168.0 network. So what you can do is if you want to scan only one particular subnet, you'll just select that subnet, uh, or you can select all the subnets to do a full scan. Then click next. You can name it a scan and just put a name to it if you wish next okay and yes we want to do the discovery now and then this is a summary so we'll just click discover okay so now this does its SNMP polling and everything like that so uh, I'll pause the video and wait for the scan to complete okay so the network polling and um, the scan has been complete so now um, this is a map that was created by uh, the the scan okay so let's see how accurate it is okay. so this is my home network switch okay and then this is where my lab begins Okay, so what we have is the uh, again my home network switch then of course my lab then the distribution switch then the lab the second router and um, I didn't realize but the third switch was actually off so um, that's why it didn't pick up but I'm sure if it was plugged in uh, it would have um, it would have picked up and now um, the rest let's see what a, how else it picked it up um, it picked up uh, so this the the rest of the network that's my home network here uh, it's so it's gone ahead and pulled up uh, some of my home network 
it, certain things aren't available in the evaluation edition um, so uh, there it is kind of limited okay okay and now um, so from here you're able to uh, you're able to see it looks like it also relies on uh, not only SNMP uh, may rely on some CDP I'm not quite sure on that um, because it's telling us exactly even the ports which is really a nice 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 feature because um, if you have a misdocumented network or a network that's not nicely documented this can be a lifesaver because once you have all this documented you can go back to your switches change your descriptions do all that and it makes troubleshooting a lot more easier uh, now we have uh, we have some node details pulled by uh, SNMP so we can see obviously this is a router um, you know it's just uh, some some data okay if we go over to the switch you can see all the VLANs that are in this switch okay so 10 20 30 and 40 and uh, what their statuses are now this is a perfect example um, so now you can see what VLANs are in there. You can go back and change them if you need to. Uh, like, uh, help you document your network. Okay, this is spanning tree uh, information. Since this is a switch, this is why uh, you're getting spanning tree info. Okay, uh, you'll know which port is in forwarding mode, which one's in blocking mode. And then um, uh, <clears throat> you won't get that same info uh, for s for routers. Now, I would have always expected w what I had uh, an expectation for uh, personally is seeing that um, this like this was a router. I would have saw maybe my sub interfaces, you know, or interfaces what their descriptions are. But it's not set up that way. They don't have um, they don't have it like that. Okay. So you can see your IP addressing, okay. But if you notice, what is missing here is you know, for instance, I know that um, uh, the for instance the twenty five network is F zero slash one dot twenty five or dot twenty, so that would be nice to to know. Um, and then the good thing about it here is we're getting the domain name, the uh, software version. Okay. So all in all, this is a really good tool. Um, it's uh, pretty lightweight too, pretty simple to install. Uh, you have the option to export to Visio. Okay, so for those of you who need to build Visio graphs, this is a nice tool as well. Um, I believe you can get more uh, more into it uh, with better graphics, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Now, if you have any questions or comments about this app or uh, how to set it up, please do leave me uh, comments in the comment section below. Uh, you can also email me, seanmancini.com, and also visit my website, www.seanmancini.com. I hope to speak with you soon. Thank you.